On the 24th of October 1975, the young gallery owner, Gemini Lee Weber, gave Mario Comensol the use of her exhibition space so that he could transform it into a very particular shrine for a period of two months. That was how the Shrine of the Ineffable Contradictions came into being. An event that was probably unique of its kind, that aroused admiration, curiosity and controversy, and that, thanks to its success, was reconstructed on a one-to-one -one scale in Paris, thanks to the initiative of the Pro Helvetia organization. The Commensori Shrine, filmed here during the opening ceremonies, was a sort of hymn to modern woman and her victories and defeats, her ambitions, her breakdowns, her victories and defeats in her opposition to male society, the strengths of her emancipation, her adaptability and her intransigence. Strong winds from 1968 were still blowing through the cultural landscape. Swiss television transmitted debates on feminist themes from the shrine. The television program recorded the most contrasting feelings and arguments. From a sense of frustration for the battle for emancipation only half won and documented here, to the enhancement of the joy of living that came from the paintings that presented characters very different from each other in the feminine world. Stars of the screen, prostitutes, brides, waitresses in scanty costumes, soldiers in combat uniform, typists docilely lined up behind their typewriters and women streaming out of a fairground in a mass of buttocks and nude breasts. In short, a varied crowd of Amazons in different situations, often of a grotesque kind, that transmitted to those able to observe without prejudice a sense of dismay, like something dreamt of but unfulfilled, like everyday life seen in a deforming mirror. This world is very distant from the one Comensori depicted 15 years earlier when the painter examined Italian immigration into Switzerland, producing a series of solemn portraits of those workers in their blue overalls. In the intervening years, the world had changed rapidly. The conquest of space, the triumph of electronics, the beginning of the beat generation, of pop culture and of the consumer society had forged a new identity, making life more complex. Mario Comensori took note of these changes. The artist who had told the story of a group of simple people had ventured onto a stage where new multicolored existences were breaking out, where each day new symbols and myths were being placed one on top of the other. Having accepted the proposal from a young, ambitious gallery owner, Jamie Lee Weber, he painted around 50 canvases and medallions that animated the shrine. Among these works, featured as the inspiring muse, portraits of Weber herself stood out pictured at different times and in different places. The Shrine of the Ineffable Contradictions has lost none of its topical relevance during the intervening decades. If anything, the range of possible interpretations has got bigger, which makes the interplay of figures and emotions represented even more intriguing. The images assembled in this short film make for an ideal visit, even though the original works have been dispersed among various collectors. The themes implied the quick nods of complicity, the ironic digressions that the artist had confided to his public in the faraway 70s are just as fascinating today as they were then. <laughs>